Hi folks, it's Nessa here in Infinitely Zero's channel. It's Monday, March 25th, 2024. I wanted to go over my March Darn Good Yarn monthly subscription, my yarn monthly subscription box or bag uh, that I just got. I received it on Saturday and I haven't had a chance to do the video and I'm doing a bunch of videos today. I've, um, yeah, I've been dealing with allergies and been really tired and dealing with a bunch of fatigue and insomnia and other stuff, and other health-related stuff and chronic pain. So anyways, um, yeah, so I got my order this month, really beautiful colors, and it's a lot thicker, which I'm really happy about. So this is actually the Silk Roving Worsted Weight Yarn. Wakito Hills is the theme. Wakato Hills is the theme. So for this year, it's kind of like traveling wanderlust. So the yarns for each month are based from a location. The color theme, the palette is inspired by a different location. Um, so this is what the little insert says. as well as the specs and I'll read them to you guys it's a two ply category four washed it away it's kind of on the thicker side so I'd say it's more of like an Aaron it's 50 grams or 85 yards 1.8 ounces or 68 meters and that noise you hear in the background is my doggy deciding to play at the moment um, it's hand wash only uh, lay flat to dry it's made from recycled silk uh, they recommend a uh, five millimeter u.s size 8 knitting needles and a 5.5 millimeter or u.s i9 crochet hook and inside the insert it says the rolling hills of new zealand introducing march's yarn of the month waikato hills a breathtaking homage to the lush landscapes of New Zealand, this beautiful worsted weight recycled silk yarn captivates with this mesmerizing ombre of emerald tones mirroring the rolling hills of Wakato. With a luxurious feel and vibrant hues, Wakato Hills is your passport to crafting masterpiece that echoes the beauty of New Zealand's verdant landscape. It's, it's soft, it's nice and soft. It doesn't have that really strong um, dyed silk that the ones from last year had, by the way. Meet Sabrine, that, that smell would give me um, a headache and a migraine. Uh, so I had to air it out. Sabrine has been working for, the, for us since 2019. Her main focus is cleaning, tagging, and something. The beautiful yarns, there's like a whole punch right through that word you get every month your subscription allows us to continue in supporting women like sabrine every day with clean working conditions and livable wages um, the word was packing so you get three of these in the subscription bag there's also a subscription for less for one dollar and i decided to pay extra because i really like the colorway so I paid an extra $8 to get an extra little cake. And this month it came with a shawl pin. So that's the shawl pin. Um, I didn't know what these were, so I just learned that recently. So that's pretty cool. And you also get this booklet. And in the booklet, it explains the same thing. And it shows the pictures of the landscape, which is pretty cool. Very nice, lush and green. And it, uh, in the booklet, it gives you a free pattern. The Rolling Hills kerchief, which you can do with this yarn. It also gives you the knit um, pattern of it. So it's a picture of the pattern. What you doing, buddy? You smelling my clothes? 
they made, they they have a blurb about the company and meeting the designer. The designer was Sammy P. At Darn Good Yarns, a fiber artist. Oh, cool. She's also a computer scientist and digital art background. Um, my background is also computer science. Buddy, what you doing? Come on, get out of there. She said the inspiration when designing the March pattern, Sammy was inspired by the beautiful and varied landscape of New Zealand. She sought to recreate those iconic hills and valleys using the granite knit stitch and the half double crochet 3L technique. Crochet in a series of meditative repeats now that you can craft your own piece of wearable New Zealand landscape. Ah, HDC 3L is half double crocheting in third loop. So that's what she meant by that. So that would be really cool. I really like how that comes out. So that'll probably be a pretty shawl. I, I might actually make that. So if I make it, I'll show it here. Um, it actually calls for three cakes of the yarn. And the size would be 30 inch length by 11 inch width. So I think if I add the fourth cake, it'll, it'll be a little bigger. It'll be nice. Um, saying doing darn good being a club member is more than just receiving colorful monthly yarns and patterns it helps the world to be a cleaner place every month you're an active subscriber your membership plants a tree in partnership with trees.org that's pretty cool I didn't know that together we've been able to plant over 32,000 trees and counting since our founding, we've been able to save over 2 million pounds of materials from going to landfills. We've taken those scraps and turned them into the beautiful yarns you receive every month. And their theme is that together we're making the world a cleaner and kinder place, one skein at a time. And um, they give you a QR code for an extra free pattern for the month. They do that for every month. And you get a 35 35% off coupon for your next purchase for that, you know, with a code for that month because you, you got the kit, you know, the yarn this month. And they also have a QR code to be able to join their monthly Facebook group. Um, yeah, so that's everything I wanted to cover. I did order some cool little cute paw stitch markers on Amazon so I just got those in the mail today what else I haven't tried out my new hook yet and I did um, order a Woobles kit for my to work up um, it's the Woobles book is our crochet book month of the crochet club book crochet book of the month club <laughs> sorry that was uh, a lot of words um for the tiffany hansen's crochet group that i'm a part of uh, so i decided to not buy the book and i decided to get the wooble kit and i'm trying them out um i made a post mentioning it i started part of the video and i've been working on this little guy and recording it and seeing how my experiences are so far um, yeah, so look for that upcoming video. This is what the yarn is. It's going to be super cute. And I haven't gotten back to the blanket I'm working on for the granny squares. But I have been busy working on this blanket. Um, this is going to be a blanket, yes. It strips right now. So joining them. And I decided to change how the pattern is and do it more of the entrelock so we'll see how it comes out I'm kind of on the second way and going join as you go sorry it goes kind of stuck on something so I can't move it closer my hook is stuck ah it got hooked on my iPad So I did that corner. I'm continuing this way 
I'm working on the yellow right now. Make the square, join it there in these diamond shapes. It's about the length of it so far. I'm hoping to get it done by the end of April to send to Bago Day, you know, to send it before the deadline for Bago Day's animal auction, which is end of April. Um, but I'm not sure that I'll be able to finish in time, so we'll see. I'll try my best. Okay, folks. Thanks. I still have to uh, catch up and do my... Uh, Crochet, OTCS National Crochet Month video um, of all those. So I'll do those later. And probably, I'll probably also add what my current projects are or something like that too. So, anyways, but I, I want to release the Wooples video first. So, okay, folks, thanks. Have a good night. And I've just been filming um, a few videos today. So, you see me sort of wearing the same clothes, that's why. Bye.